Before we learn about the moon, we have to learn a little more about the Earth. Come on up here, Earth. So this is my Earth, which is Atlas, who carries the Earth on his shoulder. And the Atlas on the Earth has some movement. Let's turn the lights out and see if we can model this. Okay, so here's the Earth. Go ahead. I'm the sun, and the Earth rotates. Show us rotation. How many hours does it take for the Earth to rotate? 24. 24. Rotate again. Now, really, you would say something Good right night. about then, which would be... Good night. Good night, and as the Earth rotates around... Good morning. Good morning. So let's give two rotations with the proper salutation. Good night. Good morning. Ah, very good. But we also know that the Earth revolves around the sun. So if I'm going to be the sun here in the middle of this desk, Earth, show me this, go that way, Earth. And the Earth is going around, going around, going around, and it takes six months, nine months. When it gets back to here, what would you say to me, Earth? Happy New Year. How old are you? Eleven. No, you're I'm one. Strong. No, you're one. <laughs> You've only been around the Earth one time. I mean, the sun one yeah. time. Try it again. <laughs> he was <laughs> Here he goes. Here's a second orbit around the sun. And how old would you be now? Two. I thought you were 12. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stop. Earth, this is where it gets really interesting. Come over here, Earth. Show us rotation again. Good night. Good morning. Oh, now this word gets really interesting. Earth, simulate both rotation and revolving without crashing. Here he goes. All right, this way. No, you're doing right, fine. This, this Earth is a bit confused. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, the sun is here to hold him in place. You go that way. This way. Uh, yes, rotate and revolve. Rotate and right. revolve. Good morning. Good night. Good morning. I think we're going to have a mishap very soon. As you can see, the Earth is always moving. In fact, let's turn the lights on and let's everybody try that. Everybody stand up. Show me rotation. Go ahead, rotate. Ah, very good, Earth. Now, show me. Just revolution around your desk as the sun. Go ahead. Revolve. And what do you say when you come back around? Happy New Year! Okay. And now, just because we boldly go where no class has gone before, show me... Oh, I hate this part. Rotation and revolution. No constant pressure. Go. Wow. Wow. I'm getting dizzy just thinking about it. And stop. <laughs> okay, so let's add the moon, which we know as Luna. Luna, beautiful face. Well, the trouble is if you stare at the moon, you could become a lunatic. So please, don't stare at the moon. I'm teasing. All right, so Luna, reflected light from the sun. Let's bring the Earth in. Atlas. Okay, so Atlas is here. Now, just go ahead, put it up on your head. Show us rotation one more time, Earth. The rotation. Okay, stop. The moon. Put, uh, put the moon on your head, Luna. Turn it around so that the near side is facing the Earth. Uh, you can just turn it around. Uh, that's good. But the, turn the moon on top of your head. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Let me show you what I mean. Let's do it like this. Turn around and face the camera. Very good. Hold that right there. Nice. There's the... Uh, Earth, get back up there. No talking. Okay. Now, here's what's cool about this. The moon revolves around the Earth. So, moon, Earth, you stay for a second. Moon, make a trip around. Now, take a look at what she's doing. But here's what's special about the moon. She almost has it. See that side of the moon right there? It always faces the Earth. So, come on around and keep that down. Look how she's moving differently. So, Earth... Check out the moon. Do you see the back side or the dark side of the moon? Oh, uh, yes. You do? Yes. That's the front side. The near side. I see the near side. You see, hold that up there, Earth. You see the near side. Earth, you rotate. Moon, keep going. Earth, rotate. And no matter what, the Earth always sees the near side. Why doesn't it see the dark side? Because they're not on a different moon planet. Turns. No, it's right there. Earth, stand up there. Moon, rotate one time in place. Uh, that's revolve. That's revolve. Rotate one time. If the moon rotated like that, we would see the dark side. One more time. We never see the dark side. Here's the very interesting part. 
the moon is rotating and revolving once. So this time, face the earth like you were. Watch. Go on. Revolve around the earth. And look. She's revol She's crashing into the earth. <laughs> she's revolving and rotating one time. That's pretty cool. So it takes her 27.3 days to come around. Come on around. Do it again. That's a lunar month. And it also takes her stop the moon. It also takes her this time rotate in place. It takes her 27 days to do that. And they're matched. Let's add that to our notes. Okay, so the moon does revolve in 27.3 days around the earth, and the moon does rotate in 27.3 days. Now what that means is these two are together, and we just saw that in our rotation. So there's a lot more to learn about the moon this week. You know, we're going to learn that it has no atmosphere. We're going to learn that, that it also has something pretty cool called phases. Phases of the moon or different shadows. Let's look a little bit closer. Okay, so let's try one more thing. Let's put this all together. If I'm the sun, here's the earth. Earth, start rotating. Earth rotates. Good morning. Moon, you start revolving and rotating around the earth. And Earth, you start revolving around me. So this is, stay up with the moon, we're losing the moon. I can see we're losing the moon. The moon, the Earth is rotating and revolving, rotate Earth, and, and the moon is catching back up. See, it's quite a cosmic dance. <laughs> and we've lost both the Earth and the moon. <laughs> oh, they're back, good. All right, let's take a look at phases of the moon. Okay, so I have a model. Now this model is really good for showing a lot of things, but there's three things I don't like about this model. First of all, the sun is not this small compared to the earth. The sun would be much larger. Number two, the earth is not this close <laughs> to, but I couldn't bring a model in that's eight foot tall and 10, ten feet long, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And there's one other thing that's different about this model. So let's, uh, uh, let's turn off the lights for a second and see what we can learn from this, ready? So we'll turn the uh, ceiling lights off and this will teach us some cool things about uh, the solar system. So let's take a look at the Earth. This Earth is rotating and it's revolving around the sun. You see that? When it gets over there, would you help push it? When it gets over here, would you help push it? Go ahead and push it for me. And so this takes one whole year for it to go around. And you see that the moon is actually revolving and rotating and so is the Earth. That's kind of cool. Let's bring it back. Oh, here's something I want you to take a look at. Look at the tilt of the Earth. Stop right there. Let's go right about there. See how the North Pole is tilted closer to the sun right here? And what's the South Pole? It's farther away. It's farther away because the Earth is tilted like 23 and a half degrees. So six months later, when we come over here on this side, guess who's pointed away from the sun? The North Pole. And who's close to the sun. South. South Pole. So this is how it is right now. Up here where we live, we're having winter. It's winter time, end of January. And who is having summer? It's no, the, North, the South Pole. The South area, Australia. So if we go six months later, it'll be June and we're having summer. What are they having? Winter. 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 So you see that it's the tilt of the earth and the revolution. Now when it gets half and half, look, the north and the south are even. So we would have in spring or fall. And here we're having winter. Here the north is having spring. And here the north is having summer. You get that? Yes. So seasons are a combination of the tilt of the earth, the angle of the sun, and the revolution. That's kind of cool. But I want to show you one more thing we're going to talk about, about the moon. Look right there. Can you see how there's a shadow on the earth? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What is making that shadow? The light. The, light. the sun. To make a shadow, you need three things. A source of light, an object, and a surface. The source of light is the sun. The object is the moon. And the surface is the earth. So if you were on the earth right here in Africa and tried to look at the sun, it would be blocked out. What do we call that eclipse when the, the, solar, the, solar, the, solar, the solar eclipse. eclipse. An eclipse. Or the lunar. No, it's not both. How can it be both? 
Um, that, that would be the moon. Go. Yes. Whatever is the name, that's what's being blocked. What's being blocked? The name. Here, what's being blocked? The sun. This is a solar eclipse. Now watch this. As the, as, look here, see that? Check out. You can see the moon right here. The people on this side, see how bright it is? Yeah. When it goes behind the earth, that is a lunar eclipse. Look at the shadow back there. I don't know if you can see the shadow up in the ceiling. Yes. Okay, watch this. Here it comes. You see the, you see the uh, moon? Yeah. Okay, when it revolves around, watch. Now it's in the shadow. Got that? Yeah. So I'll bring it back down. Is that when it's light on the edge? That's a lunar eclipse. And it depends on what time of the year and where you are, whether it's a lunar eclipse or a solar eclipse. Well, I have another model I want to use that's really pretty cool. Let's take a close look at this next model. Okay, I got the lights back on. And um, we're going to use this model right here to talk about the phases or the different shadows we see of the moon. The moon goes through eight different phases in its lunar month, 27.3 days. Let's turn the lights out so you can see what I'm saying. Now, depending on where you guys are sitting right now, shut one eye and look at the moon. Each of you, since you're in a circle, are going to see a different shape. The camera is seeing a full moon. Now, as I start to rotate the moon, you're going to see different shapes. I like the sound effects. Oh, oh. So some of you are seeing full moon, some of you are seeing a crescent, some of you are seeing a first quarter, some of you are seeing the waxing and waning. Oh. Oh. A half moon, we call that a quarter moon, even though it looks like a half moon. And so that takes 27.3 days. If you shut your eye and look at it. Now, on your worksheet for the next 28 days, I would like you to draw a picture of what the moon looks like. I'm going to speed it up. Here's 27.3 days in one second. <laughs> so, got that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so another thing I want you to make, and I, and I put in your worksheets a pattern for this. Here's another way to study the phases of the moon. This is my flip book. Check it out. Let's get some light from the sun. It's going to bounce off the moon. And these are the different phases. Watch, see what, see what it looks like. Ready? See how they changed? Yes. Yeah, I showed you this right here. Here you go. Ready? Watch. And that's called a flip book. I don't know if I'm doing it the right way or not. <laughs> you guys have to figure that out by looking in your workbook. And here's another one I made. Check this one out. Ready? This one I decided to put the uh, space station flying in front of the moon. See if you can see it go. Did you see it? Yeah, I see it. Yeah. There we go. All right, so those are a couple of things you're going to make. I tell you, I, um, I've done some uh, neat things with NASA, and one of the things that I got from it is that we have sent spaceships around the moon to take photos. And these are, this is a book of lunar or the lunar orbiter that went around the moon before it went to the moon. It took thousands of photographs and this is the ones that came back it's pretty cool pictures of both sides and you can see i'll let you take a look at this it shows both where the segment was and when it was taken and so this is a a, a pretty cool image of how they mapped the moon before we landed on the moon that's a beautiful picture check it out sea of tranquility different flat areas craters Really cool stuff. So let's add to our moon notes. In your book, there's a whole section on different phases. You're gonna spend the next 27 and a half days writing the phases. So you might see a moon that looks like this. What would you call this moon? A full moon. A full moon. Or you might see a moon that's a quarter. Or you might see one that's a crescent. Or you might see one that's not there at all called a new moon. And so these are a lot of the different eight phases that you'll be able to do. Now, some people are asking me some questions. Maybe you heard there's a lot of myths about the moon, stories about the moon. Have you ever heard of something called a, uh, a blue moon? Yes. Uh, have you heard anything called a super moon? Yes. But what about, uh, I bet there's another one you've heard of. What about uh, blood moon? You ever heard blood moon? Yes. There was one time. 
Uh, yeah, that's uh, those are all some really interesting things, and I'd be glad to uh, tell you what I know about these. They have a reason, a name. For example, a blue moon. Let's think about that for a second. Okay, so a blue moon. What is a blue moon? What do you a think? Blue, a blue moon is a, um, there's a moon, there's a full moon on the first of a month. It can't be February. And then in 27.3 days, there's another full moon in, in the same month. So that second moon would be called a blue moon. Very rare. And why couldn't it be, why couldn't it be in February? Because there's 28 days in yeah, you, you need an extra day. Unless it's a leap year, then it would be really, really rare. So that's a blue moon. Now, a super moon is, you know when we were doing the revolving around the sun? It's not a perfect, uh, what? Circle. It's not a perfect circle. It's more like a orbit, right? And the orbit is like an oval, an ellipse. So whenever, sometimes the moon is really close to the earth, and sometimes it's farther away. See what I'm saying? When there's a full moon, when it's the closest it can be to the earth, that's a super moon. And that leaves us the blood moon. Dun, 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 dun. That's what it has. Uh, anybody know what a blood moon is? What does it look like? What color do you think it is? What? Do you, what? Uh, a blood moon looks like sort of like a red and yellow. Yeah, it does. Let me show you how that, what that is. Okay, so, so a blood moon is this. Light is white unless it gets bent. Watch this. And my hand is white, but when I put my hand over this flashlight, the light gets bent and it makes my hand look red. So if we can bend light, we can have a beautiful red sunset. Light gets bent through water droplets. White gets bent through dust or white light gets bent around my finger. That's how we get this color. So a blue moon, if we're straight at the moon right here, it looks very bright. But sometimes, when there's a full moon, what happens is, instead of being bright, the earth blocks a lot of the light, and the light gets bent around the earth, and it sh shines a reddish, almost like a sunset, because the light is getting refracted and bent onto the moon. And when that happens, we call that a blood moon. Okay, so we've been studying the moon, right? We've learned that it rotates, it revolves. You guys are gonna keep track of it for the next 27.3 days. We've learned about lunar, solar eclipses. I got one more thing to figure out, and luckily this guy's here. And basically, where are we? Any idea? Ah, third planet from the Earth. Hey, good luck on your moon observations. I can't wait to see what you have done. Riley and I am the cameraman and I was forced to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I love it.